Ben Jordan continues our coverage of the debate with reaction from voters in Racine County. Voters we spoke with here in Racine County tonight all said they would watch the debate, but no matter how it went, they've already made up their minds. <laughs> the final presidential debate ahead of Election Day is must-see TV for many Racine County voters. But those we talked with ahead of time say their decision isn't at stake. Do you already know who you plan to vote for? Yes. I do. I don't think there's anything that can sway my decision. I really don't. I just want to know who's doing all the lying. Racine County's voting results in the past seven presidential elections have favored the winner in each race. That dates back to 1992. For the Wasics, watching President Trump and former Vice President Biden is all about gathering new information, despite already knowing who they want to win in less than two weeks. Uh, we're hearing a lot of the same material that we heard the first time around. A little disappointed that we're 20 minutes into it and we're still on the first question. Despite some disappointments, the Wasics say this debate was far better than the first because the candidates weren't allowed to talk over each other. This is much more um, comfortable to watch. It's not, it's not as, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a civil debate. While a variety of key issues were discussed, the Wasics believe the economy should be the main focus. Here in Racine County, around 7,600 people participated in the first two days of in-person absentee voting, preceding tonight's debate. Reporting in Racine, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.